Should I juggle rocks? I don't know if that's smart. Oh, 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 terrible idea. Hey there everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm back with a new video as you can see and today it's going to be a very relaxing one. I'm going to be painting rocks using the mandala dot painting method. Which one fell? This is a fun activity that you only need a few supplies for and really you can find everything in your yard and in your house, most likely rocks and tools to paint with, but you of course will need paint. You know, gotta buy that from the store unless you wanna make it out of berries or something. Okay, now I'm just being ridiculous, but there it is, way back here. I hope that you guys enjoy the five different rocks that I paint in this video. Let me know in the comment section below after you've watched which design is your favorite. Now without further ado, let's get into painting. What, what was this? I can't snap like this. Okay, that way. <laughs> Here's an overview of all the awesome art supplies that Artistro very kindly sent to me. A few months back, I did test the watercolor set, so if you want to see that video, I'll link it below and in the iCard up in the corner. But in this video, I'm going to be using a lot of the acrylic paints and the paint pens. Aw, little Gustafer! The acrylic paint set comes with 24 different colors, three paint brushes, and a palette. Also, these stickers are really cool. I love that they say something positive on every single one. I decided I wanted to paint the rocks and do something kind of relaxing. I came across the mandala dot painting art on Pinterest. Even though the rocks are very smooth and clean already, I wanted to just make sure that I got off any dust that could be present on them, so I gave them a little bath and dried them. Then come the swatches. I enjoy doing this with all the new paints that I get. It helps me see what the colors actually look like. These colors are actually very close to what's shown on the tube, so that's really nice, but it's still great to have a visual on paper or wood or wherever you want to swatch them. I didn't show the entire swatching process, but here they all are. Now it's time to start on rock number one out of five. So stick around to see every single design. I ended up painting this one solid black, let it dry, and then put another layer on the other side of it. Here is rock number two. I want to paint all the bases first so they have color on them and then I will get into the actual designing. So silver is number three, and then this one I did a gradient with yellow, orange, and magenta. For some reason it reminds me of a candy corn even though these aren't the actual colors of them. Wait, don't they have a chocolate one? I think they do, but it's still not red or pink. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to blend that as best as I could, and then we have one left. So for the fifth one, wait, am I not doing it yet? Oh, I left one of the rocks unpainted. I filmed this so long ago, I didn't even remember. Okay, here's the tools that I'm gonna be using. You can use whatever you want, dotting tools, a pencil, a Q-tip, the end of a paintbrush, a pen. There are so many different options for what you can make dots with. And it's fun to gather a lot of things around the house that have different sized tips so you get a lot of variation. So I started off with a blue dot in the middle and then as in the middle, as in the middle as I could get it. And then for the green dots, the aqua ones, I put them on alternating sides to form a plus sign basically and this is just to get the most even distribution of the dots because I knew I wanted eight of them and just to put them across from each other and then you know intersecting the other way then I was able to space them out as equally as possible for the yellow I'm putting one dot in between two of all the green does this even make any sense you can see what I'm doing but eight yellow dots to start with and then I'm filling in in between every set of yellow dots to make it go all the way around and then moving on to the magenta I did the same thing with a smaller dotting tool so the dots are getting a little bit smaller as the circle gets larger I'm not actually following a pattern for this I'm just winging it basically and 
that's okay because there's so many different designs that you can do with these dot mandalas and it's supposed to be a relaxing project for you to do. So don't stress too much about if you're messing up or if it's going to look good at the end. The process is the most important part for this. In between all the little tiny white dots, I went in with some medium sized blue dots as you can see. And I just went all the way around and ooh, here I put a ton of little yellow dots around every other blue dot. And then on all the ones that didn't have yellow, I went in with the green and did the same exact thing. Now getting back into the white, I'm going to use the same size dotting tool and apply those on the inside. I thought I could fill a little bit more space so there wasn't as much of the rock showing. More little tiny white dots in that yellow inner circle there. And I really like how that brought the design together. Here, I guess I made some questionable decisions. I put pink in the middle, which was fine, but then I put some yellow and a few more little white dots. I guess I didn't like those because I covered them back up with green and then I didn't like the yellow, so I went ahead and covered that a couple different times and boom, here it is. Rock number two, I have this white one. I'm going to do rainbow colors for this. Started with yellow in the middle. That's just kind of how I do things here is I start with yellow instead of red. Then with the end of a bobby pin, I am using this kind of rusty orange color. Made a bunch of little dots around that and then I'm mixing a kind of pinkish, I don't know. It still looks like the orange on the screen. It barely has a noticeable change, but I guess in person it does look different. Really tiny dots with the end of a toothpick, so you don't even have to buy dotting tools. You can use things around the house, like I said. Here's the end of a paintbrush to dot some purple around the outermost circle at this point. and then some darker purple with a smaller tool, followed by light pink. And for this one, I wanted to add some angles instead of just making it round the whole time, like the first one had rounded petals. This one has kind of star-like points. And is that it? Why did I not have like more footage? Apparently the footage stops here. Did I not finish recording the rest of it? I guess not. So we're just gonna pop in the completed rock. Ooh, ah. <laughs> I know I sounded super sarcastic there, but I do think that it turned out really nice. So those are the two rocks that I filmed almost a year ago. Now let's move on to the third one, which I am filming in present day, but to you guys, it's still the past. You saw the cute little duck pen. I'm using his head to put a big dot in the center. Totally unsatisfying because it blotched and didn't make a great circle. And when I picked it up, you could see a little bit splattered off to the side. So yeah, we're not off to a great start, but hopefully I can redeem myself. I went in with the end of a paintbrush to do light pink, and I'm using the same method to space those out as equally as possible. But for this next one, oh my gosh. At this point, I was so nervous that it would just turn out extra terrible because these dots do not look very dotty. They look like they are different sizes, they're not spaced as evenly as I wanted them to be. And then I kind of took a breath and told myself, hey, you know what, this is supposed to be relaxing. You are not relaxing, so just continue with the design. Go in with the purple in between every bigger pink one. Here you go, all is well, breathe. <laughs> so the design continues and now I'm liking it a lot more and I'm glad that I didn't try to turn it over and start over basically. I'm glad that I continued going and I am going to put some smaller purple dots now in between the pink so I can continue that design down, get rid of some of the black just so there's not as much peeking through. I am using different tools as you can see so I can get smaller dots more easily. The toothpick really came in clutch for the tiny, tiny ones. And then I went back to the outside, added some white, and what am I doing now? Oh, light blue. I wanted to bring some light blue in.
colors look really, really cute together. Adding some more blue dots to make it look triangular out there. And then, well, I guess like kind of flowery now because I put five around each. And we are now doing the tiny dots. And I was trying to do, what, seven around each one, but since they're different sizes and not completely evenly spaced, some of them have, I think six, some have eight. It's okay. We don't need to worry about that because from far away and just at first glance, you're not going to notice that there are different numbers of those little white dots because the design is so intricate that it's hard to notice that unless you really stare at it. So I think it turned out really cool despite it being imperfect and I think you know that even makes it better so there are some spots you know I wanted to fill in more white and technically there shouldn't have been a white dot there but you can do anything you want with these and I thought that the little tiny tiny white dots with the toothpick also made the design much more put together and this is what it turned out like I think this might be my favorite despite me worrying at the beginning that it was going to be my least but we still have two more rocks to go and I haven't actually created the design on them yet as of filming this voiceover so I don't know one of those might be my favorite who knows hey goose hey goose in this footage he's actually just over a year old but recently he celebrated his second birthday I can't believe it you good boy yeah, you tired? You gonna take a nap? The design for rock number four is another dot mandala, but number five is going to be something a little bit different, so stay tuned for just a couple minutes to see that. I am using a brush paint pen or marker for this, and it is really juicy, and I like that I didn't have to shake the marker to get the ink flowing. It's already started. However, it is a little bit difficult to get uniform dots with this, and I thought that I was going to mess it up completely, but it turned out pretty cool, I think. Also, if you are interested in getting any of the supplies that I'm using in this video, I'll link everything below. I put a note at the beginning of the video, but I didn't mention anything. I am using affiliate links, so anything that you purchase from the links, it's not going to cost you any extra, but it'll help me out. Anything that I earn, I'm going to put back into craft supplies so I can make more videos. I tried to use the white paint pen over black, and that didn't work very well. It just got the tip all muddled, and yeah, so I moved on to using white acrylic paint to bring the design together. And this is what it turned out like at the very end. I was going to add more to the background, but I think for this one, I want to see more of the colors, so I left it like this and I am very happy with it. Just a short message before we get into rock number five about some art supplies slash past video idea that's going to continue to be a video idea for the near future, I hope. A while back, even longer than a year, I actually was planning to do a comparison on different paint pens and markers. I purchased these two packs from Artistro before the company ever reached out to me and it was just a happy coincidence that they happened to send me a uh, care package basically of the lovely supplies. I do want to still do a video in the future where I compare these paint pens slash markers. Leave me a comment below if there are other brands you see on Amazon or Instagram, wherever, that I should purchase and compare and test for you all. We'll have a big testing compilation. I thought it was only fitting to include the paint pen announcement in this video since I'm using some of the paint markers and I also wanted to do a slightly different design for you all other than just the flowery stuff so I hope that you enjoy the rainbow. It's the easiest design by far but with the shape of the rock being kind of a half circle -y arch 
to begin with. I thought that this was super fitting and I chose the metallic markers to go with the silver metallic-y paint. Ooh, it's so shiny. There may be a rock painting part two in the future. However, I'm gonna be painting on a lot of other different things. Next time I have a thrift store makeover coming. It's my very first one, so I hope that you are excited for that. I am. <laughs> If you enjoyed, give this video a big thumbs up, pretty please. Leave a comment down below, as I said, telling me your favorite rock design. I hope to see you back here in a new video very soon. Let's try this one more time before I leave you. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. terrible. Third time's a charm. Yes, I knew it. Okay, bye.